Hello, welcome to another Wise Guys tutoring video, and this is another one in our continuing BA2 Plus calculator series on compound interest, and we're going to look at how to use the interest conversion function on your calculator. All right, so we're given the following question. If we are given an interest rate, of 6.8% compounded quarterly, what is its effective interest rate? So let's start with what is effective? Well, effective means annual. So we want the annual interest rate. So in this question, we are given 6.8% quarterly, and they want us to change it to effective. So they want us to change it from quarterly to annual. Okay, so to do that, we go second function, I conversion, second two. So this is our interest conversion. So now the first thing that pops up on the screen is nominal. So since we want to change it from quarterly to effective, the 6.8% is going to be our nominal interest rate. So now how do we put this into the calculator? For NOM, we just type in 6.8. Don't worry about converting it from a percent to a decimal. The calculator will understand that the 6.8 is a percentage. So we just type in 6.8, and then you have to hit the Enter button. And then we push the down arrow once, which brings us to EFF. This is what we're trying to find, so I'm just going to put a little question mark beside the EFF. And then we push the down arrow again. This brings us to the CY. And the CY is just like the normal CY when we go second IY. CY stands for compounding periods per year, which in this question, our compounding periods are quarterly. So then we want to set CY to 4. And then, oh, must have used quarterly in a previous question because it's on the screen, but I'm going to type it in anyway. So 4 and then enter. Then we push the up arrow back to EFF. And remember, this is what we're solving for. So we just go ahead and hit compute. All right, so here's our answer. 6.975373552. So depending on how many decimal places the answer uh, wants you to go to. I'm just going to round it off at two decimal places here. So since we have a five as our third decimal place, that'll cause to us to round the seven up and make it 6.98 as our final answer. All right. So let's just quickly review. So in the question, we were given 6.8% quarterly, and we wanted to know the effective interest rate. So effective, of course, means annual. So we want to change it from quarterly to annual. So we go second, I conversion, interest conversion. And we start with the nominal, NOM, and that was the 6.8. Enter. We hit the down arrow twice to go to the CY. Typed in the 4, enter, up arrow, back to EFF, and we push compute. All right, let's try another one. So if we are given an interest rate of 7.3% annually, what is the nominal interest rate compounded semi-annually? So we've been given 7.3% annually. If you remember from the previous question, annually is like saying effective. So in other words, we've been given effective, and we want to change it to semi. So we want to change it this time from annual to semi-annual. OK. So turn on our calculators, and second, 
I conversion. So the first thing to pop up is NOM. This is actually what we're trying to solve for, so we're going to push the down arrow to go to EFF. And at EFF, we're going to type in the 7.3. Don't worry about the previous answers there, just type over it, and then enter. And then the down arrow again to go to CY. And now, we want to change it from effective to nominal, or annual to semi-annual. Since we typed in the 7.3 for effective, effective is annual, so then the CY is based on the nominal rate, and the nominal rate in this question is the semi-annual. So for CY, we're going to type in 2. Enter. Then you can push the down arrow once, and that brings us back to nominal. And at nominal, we will push compute. So then here's our answer, 7.171426601. So again, I'm just going to round this to two decimals. And so since we have a 1 this time, that means no rounding. And so then we'll change it to 7.17. OK. So in this question, we were given 7.3 annual, and we wanted to convert it to a semi-annual rate, or effective to nominal, because not annual is effective. So then in our interest conversion, we skip the NOM and go to EFF, type in the 7.3, go down to the CY, and the CY always refers to the nominal. So nominal and the CY always go together. So then we want to change it to 2 because it's a semi-annual rate. We then go back to nominal and push compute, and we end up with 7.17. All right, we've got a third question. Let's see what this third question wants us to do. Now, in this third question, if we are given an interest rate of 9.5% compounded monthly, what is its corresponding quarterly interest rate? So we are given 9.5% monthly, and we want to change it to quarterly. So we want to go from monthly to quarterly. So that means we're actually going from nominal to nominal. So now, when you go from nominal to nominal, you first have to start with the existing nominal rate and change it to effective. So step one is we're going to change the existing nominal rate to effective. So turn our calculators on and go second function two. So then the first thing that pops up is NOM. And so the NOM in this case will be the existing nominal rate, which is the 9.5. So we're going to type in 9.5, enter, and then push the down arrow twice to go to the CY. And then this 9.5% is compounded monthly. So then CY is going to be 12. So then at CY, we're going to type in 12, enter, push the up arrow to EFF, and at EFF, we are going to push compute. All right, so now here's our existing nominal rate for 9.5 monthly. So now that's step one, nominal to effective. So now we've done that. We've converted the nominal rate to effective. Step two is to take this effective rate that we've just computed and change it to the new nominal, the one that we want. So the new nominal rate is this quarterly. So then you leave EFF as calculated. Scroll down to the CY. Change the CY now to the quarterly, because that's what we want. So 4, and then Enter. And then we'll push the down arrow. So 4, 
enter, down arrow, back to the nominal, and at nominal we push compute. And so we get 9.57540678. So then we'll round this to two decimals. So because this is a 5, causes the 7 to round up a uh, just like in the previous, in question, the first question. So this is now 9.58. All right. So let's just quickly review to change it from one nominal to a second nominal. So step step one is change it from nominal to effective. So we've been given 9.5% monthly. So we start with NOM is 9.5. And then, oops, uh, we hit the enter button and then the down arrow twice to the CY. And at CY, we type in 12 because the 9.5 is monthly. Scroll up to EFF and push compute. So this 9.92, this is the effective rate or annual rate for 9.5 monthly. So that's step one, change nominal to effective. Step two is changing effective back to nominal. So we leave the EFF as calculated, go down to the CY, change it to quarterly because that's what they want and the final answer is quarterly, and then scroll down to C NOM and push CPT and we get 9.58. All right, so that's the interest conversion function. And that's another Wise Guys tutoring video. If you have any questions, we can get a hold of us through rrc.mb.ca backslash LAC. All right. I hope you have yourselves a good day.